A member of parliament targeted by China testified on Parliament Hill today. It happened as CSIS was given a new directive to tell MPs whenever they face foreign threats. But Michael Chong wants the government to go much further and name names. CTV's Judy Trin reports. Michael Chong did not find out until 16 days ago that China was targeting him, even though CSIS may have known for at least two years. Chong told the committee he's received threats, but didn't suspect an orchestrated campaign by the PRC. One of the um, incidences involved something that happened in the last federal election campaign. Um, the other uh, incidences were outside of the federal election campaign. Alleged perpetrator, Chinese diplomat Zhao Wei, has now been expelled. Chong wants him censured, and he's so calling on the government to compel CSIS to name names and identify in parliament the foreign agents who are targeting politicians, like the United Kingdom has done. The government needs to act. To not act is to make our democracy needlessly more vulnerable to the threat of foreign interference. Other citizens are vulnerable too. Mehmet Tati, a Uyghur activist, suspected he was monitored. He deliberately cut ties with his family to protect them. He gave CSIS this recording. It's a veiled threat about family members who have been disappeared in China. The message came two weeks before Parliament voted to take in 10,000 Uyghur refugees, a cause Tati supported. You live constantly under the, under the shadow of Chinese uh, I infest and how you can be safe, how you can be free. This expert in U.S.-China relations says how Canada deals with foreign interference can impact the relationship with its closest ally. It is of growing importance to the United States that we compare notes, uh, that neither of us present a vulnerability to the other. In just a few weeks, Canada's resiliency to foreign interference will be tested in four federal by-elections. The Trudeau government says it will increase monitoring of potential threats. Sandy. Judy, thank you.